Hello everyone! Amy here coming to you live from my kitchen with Rebecca. Rebecca. For those of you who haven't met Rebecca, she is our middle child. Sam is standing behind the camera hoping that you all could see the outside the back of the phone, which isn't likely gonna happen. Nope. Um, welcome to having a 12 year old boy. Um, we are in a three date series that starts tonight. And so we thought we were just talking the other day about how, at least locally here, um, everybody is back stuck at home by themselves again. And I don't know what your houses are like. So I would love to know in the comments, are you like hard boiled egg, egg decorating people or no? So give me a one if you're a yes to that and a two if you're a no. So are you a hard boiled egg decorator? We aren't, we don't eat hard boiled eggs. Well, Ian does, but Steven sometimes, but the rest of us don't. And so I have, we've rarely decorated eggs, haven't we? The only times I can remember would be at grandma's. Yeah, I see. Grandma, grandma would, <laughs> grandma and grandpa would be into that. Yeah, that's true. Grandpa and grandma usually make e eggs. I don't eat them and so it never occurs to me to make them and so we have found in the last few years a new fun way to have our own Easter egg and that we wanted to share that with you um, and for those of you who have your kiddos at home doing virtual school this might be a fun little project if you um, don't mind being a little bit less controlling and um, want to let them do a little decorating so we are gonna make cupcake Easter eggs so we have already done one let me show you this is what it looks like all done. Uh, Rebecca just decorated that one. We are not the bakers who decorate fancy things. Well, this we is not. Rebecca is learning and acquiring her decorating skills, but I, I am, do pretty good. She, I think she does pretty good. She thinks, but that is not in my skill base. I love to bake, but decorating is not my jam. But I wanted to show you what we did. So we have that little egg that you saw, and these two. I don't know if you can see. She's decorating two down here. These all came out of. Oh, let me back up a step. In. I'm super, super all about no stress and time so yep betty crocker so these are haven't been on sale for a couple of weeks but everybody should know that you should pay about a dollar fifty to a dollar ninety nine if you have to for a sale cake mix and always buy a brand name they just taste better um and then here's my other little tip especially for you moms or you teachers who don't love crumbs everywhere um the tip to this and you can google this how to make a pound cake out of a box cake mix you take a box cake mix and you add a pack of instant pudding so whatever flavor matches i have a chocolate cake so i have a chocolate cake mix but if you have rainbow bitch or vanilla just add a vanilla cake mix um and then add four eggs instead of three so this box is three so we're gonna add four and add less oil so this has half a cup on the box so a third a cup of oil so one box one mix one more egg and a little less oil is how you turn a box cake mix into a pound cake and for all in fancy mom terms a pound cake means you don't have crumbs everywhere because they are less crummy that's the goal of the pudding is to make our uh, cake less crummy can I get a thumbs up if we need less cake crumbs around <laughs> we are always about less cake crumbs so I have um, baked a few I can't see I wish I could see your comments um, my old eyes can't see that far I need one of those watches like the kids have all got so I could read those comments on my wrist the kids have just recently acquired um, Apple watches and so they're forever reading everything on their wrists I am not <laughs> All right, so I have talking to Samuel. one cup prep bowl, two cup prep bowl, three cup prep bowl. Oh, this guy just came out of the oven. I should remind myself he saw three cup prep bowl. And because I've never done this before and I wanted to try, I made these ones, these little guys, these silicone freezer bowls are air fryer safe. And so I wanted to see what it would turn out like if we made cupcakes in the air fryer. So I already sprung it free. This guy didn't come out perfectly well, but he came out of the air fryer. So they were about 20, 22 minutes in the air fryer. Now here's my warning to you, all of you who do this. This is an entire cake mix that you're seeing in front of you, with including these two pieces, which means it's the equivalent of 24 cupcakes. <laughs> so each one of these one cup purple ones was three large scoops, wasn't it? Yes. yes. So each one of these little eggs is the equivalent of three cupcakes. So you just sit, just so you're warned, if your children eat the whole thing, 
I've warned you. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna pop out the three cup one. Um, and we didn't try this, but as we were prepping for tonight, we actually thought this might be fun if we could figure out if it would work. And I don't see why it wouldn't because this sits quite nicely on its tail. I wonder if you could cut off the top here and then put one on top and make like a big egg. Um, you'd probably put a skewer or two through it to hold it together. That might be fun if you're creative, but we're not that creative tonight. So we have, we turn it over. We just forgot to make the top one. Well, we didn't make enough cake mix either. Um, so we're gonna, I got a serrated knife and then we're gonna cut it as close to half as we can. And you'll see why in a second we need to do that. Um, you can still see this one just came out of the oven. I didn't anticipate the length of time, but in hindsight, it's um, this one was like half the cake mix. So obviously it's gonna be like more like a cake than a cupcake. So now I, whoops, now I have these two pieces and I'm just gonna cut the tops off again to make them level. And then we should make trifle for dessert with all the pieces, right, Rebecca? Yeah. So if you need an Easter dessert, you've got all the trifle pieces made already. Although we like trifle with brownies, so that's a little different. All right, so I've got all those pieces there and then I'm just gonna push my two little halves together. So <laughs> this is exactly why I said you have to cut in half because can you see one side is a little taller than the other side. So if I want my egg to actually line up, we gotta go in here and we gotta try and shave a little. Normally these would be a little cooler, but all right, and now we have our egg shape. Just like that. So I'm gonna put this over here. Okay, so Rebecca's doing something here. So we, I learned this trick a while ago, again, uh, if you heard me say earlier, I'm not a decorator, but I learned this trick that if you take a little damp paper towel, you can see that she's just like kind of dabbing at it and smoothing it a little bit and that's gonna smooth your icing. See, it's, it seems to work. Okay, so now, okay, I'm gonna take this one out too and show you, this is the air fryer one. So it's the same thing with a little one, you just cut it in half and then squish it together. So that is ready to go. Now, we have so you could use, so for those of you who want to do this with a little bit less stress uh, while you're doing this at home, you can totally go and grab like these little scribblers. You can find them in the decorating aisle at Safeway or any grocery store, um, and then you, or you can buy them at Bulk Barn. Um, and that's a really simple, easy way to decorate the eggs. Um, but we also have our decorator bags out because there's something really important that I love to share when it comes to icing. Because this was the biggest game changer for me when it came to icing because I love our icing bags. Um, pass me the little one. I love our icing bags because they have a silicone inside. So if you've got real, if you've got real icing, if you've actually got icing in there, um, um, it doesn't stick and they clean so well. Um, but here is my icing trick. So we have yellow icing in this one. So let me just here, Rebecca, why don't you decorate up here so that they can see you decorating because you're so... Dad would say that's more ergonomically friendly as well. <laughs> Even the kitchen decorator gets ergonomics. All right. Even though I don't pay attention very much. Mm -hmm. You know, she doesn't pay attention. Okay, so we're gonna just Put a little yellow icing on here so that they can see there was yellow. We don't, this is kind of like Ian and I cooking together. Rebecca and I don't decorate cakes together very <laughs> often. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna do my little magic trick with the icing. Are you ready? Okay, I am gonna pull out this little icing bag here. It's in saran wrap. So let me show you this. You get a piece of saran wrap. This is for those of you who don't have a lot of bags or don't like to change your bags or like to use lots of icing or um, or you 
want to do one of those fancy icings where you put like 30 different colors on. Okay, so I just got a piece of saran wrap. Okay, and I'm just lay I laid it on the counter. And then I'm going to take the icing. I'm going to just kind of blob it in a little half down there. And then I'm going to wrap it up. Kind of like a little bonbon. What's wrong, Rebecca? I should have opened these before. Oh, uh, we're going to wrap it up like a little bonbon. And then we're going to do this right to, to the end. Now, we are going to change the icing tip because that is the only place. Where's your other tip? That is the only place that there's icing. See this? There's no icing in there. So exciting. So, we take our, this allows you to change colors. Um, ombre, when these first came out, ombre cakes were the big thing. Does anybody make an ombre cake anymore? Do you know, even know what I mean? The slab ones where there's like three shades of pink kind of going up. So I'm gonna slide this into the bag. You can see my little end of my saran come out. And then this is, she always picks the hardest tip. Oh, here we go. Oh. No, you don't, you don't usually do that. I always do this. I, I never do that. I always do this. So you're learning from both ways. Okay, so I like to put the saran through the tip because that gets the saran further down the tip so that I get less icing in the bag. So then the saran sometimes gets stuck. You're right, where are the scissors? Over there, can you grab them? So then we pull the saran out. Kind of as far as it will pull and that. Whoops. And then just like that, our icing is ready to decorate. So I think that is the most exciting time saving tip that I have ever made. What are you looking for? Um, Pink? Blue squirrely. Blue. She's looking for the blue one. So I think that's the most exciting uh, decorating bag tip that I've ever had because I love, I used to like being able to change the colors when I decorated. And so that just makes things so much easier. So um, that's our little cake egg lesson for tonight. Um, tomorrow night, well, we haven't decided. The, tomorrow night and Thursday night, we're gonna do other um, Easter treats. One of them is we're gonna do some Rice Krispie treats, and then one we're gonna do some like haystack type treats. So um, tomorrow and Thursday, you can join us at the same time. And, um, let me know, I would love for you to share if you make something like this with your kids or if you need um, any instructions or whatever, send me a message and I'm happy to show you anything. But let me know if you make these, I think they'll be super fun and something for you to do with your kids because um, it's supposed to be warm by the weekend, but tomorrow's still not very warm. So if you have a cake mix at home, you could totally uh, mix something like this up and let them play tomorrow between their uh, virtual school breaks. So. Uh, we got some more cakes to decorate, so we'll post a picture in the comments when they're all done, if we can keep Samuel from eating them first. And um, you guys have a good night. We'll talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.